All right, all you competition guys that run uh, these big Korean style amplifiers, I'm going to give you a little tip on how to help prevent the failure of your amplifier. This is the power supply section side. This is the power supply transistors. And you can see that the thermal paste is still somewhat pliable when you run your finger across it. I mean, it's a little dry, but I'll get to that point here in just a second. It's a little dry, but you can see where it's still kind of pliable here. Now, if you come over here to the output section, this is the output section of a 16, I think this is a 16K uh, amplifier. I'd have to double check. Uh, this is a DD amplifier, but check this out. If I take my finger and run it across the transistor, that thermal paste is dry as a bone until you get over here. It's a little bit more pliable, but over here, it's dry. It is almost like a chalk. You can scrape it off with your finger. It'll, I mean, it's the, it's chalk. Now that will not conduct or transfer heat as efficiently to the heat sink. And what happens is this, this transistor eventually will overheat and die. Just like this guy did. This guy right here came from the other side that the thermal paste on the other side is completely dry. And this is what happens to a transistor when they overheat. They just die. And the transistors that were right next to it, that thermal paste is chalk. You can just peel it off with your thumbnail. So just a little tip. Uh, keep your thermal paste replaced if you do competition work. This amplifier was driven at 0.33 ohms. I don't know for how long or what the history is behind that 0.33 ohms. But this will overheat transistors if you can't get rid of the heat. Dissipate that heat. Use good thermal paste. Keep your competition amps serviced at least before every season. Get that thermal paste replaced with new thermal paste. I highly recommend that. I see competition amps all summer long come in from blown outputs. And I could tell right off the bat from the thermal paste that it was over it was over over temperature. It overheated. Temperature goes up, current goes down. The ratings on these transistors. Just let you know. Sorry to you guys. I just thought to point that out. And uh Thanks for uh, tuning in to Ellensburg Amplifier Repair and Service. Again, I do offer services to replace thermal paste on an amplifier if you are a competition-driven person. So uh, shoot me up, send me an email, send me a request. We'll catch you later. Thanks for watching. And, and just to add uh, to the, uh, the reasoning and theory behind uh, why temperature is so critical to these amplifiers. First off, when you drive them under recommended loads, or they're going to heat up a lot quicker, a lot faster than a standard load. So if this is rated at 1 ohm and you drive it at 0.33, these transistors are going to heat up substantially more at 0.33 than they would at 1 ohm. So what I want to show you real quick about these FDA 24 and 40 F transistors. They are super common used in many Korean boards, many, many boards. They're, uh, I would say they're, they're great transistors. They do the job, but what happens is the current ratings, if you look at the current ratings of the FDA 24 and 40, 
the continuous drain current at 25 degrees Celsius is 23 amps. This is a 24 and 40 transistor. So, you know, you're right at 23 amps. But look what happens when you start to increase temperature. Uh, 100 degrees Celsius, your current drops down to 13.8 amps at 100 degrees Celsius. So you can see what happens to the current ratings based on temperature. Now, probably at some point in this data sheet, you can see a curve, uh, current versus temperature. They may have one, I'm not sure. Let's see what they got here. If they have a chart for uh, current versus temperature, gate charge, characteristics, capacitance, resistance, variation, uh, maximum safe operating area, breakdown voltage versus temperature, maximum drain current versus case temperature. There you go, guys. That's what you need to pay attention to. So, your drain current at 25 degrees Celsius up to uh, 150 degrees Celsius. These things, you know, there it is right there. 50 degrees Celsius, you're just a hair above 20 amps. You get 75 degrees Celsius and you're below, you're about 18 amps. So, guys, keep that thermal paste replaced. Keep them cool. I'm here to repair them for you, but you, these 24 and 40s are not cheap, getting hard to find. So, again, thanks for watching. Have any comments? Leave them down below. We'll catch you on the next one.